Hello guys, and welcome back to yet another AMC video. I wish to discuss precisely how these were tokenized, how stocks actually function, and how they were manipulated. The AMC cost, however, not as you might have been taught to believe. Therefore, remain tuned, and let's earn some cash. Now I will present the most important information. We now know what AMC tokenization entails. We are aware that stocks were utilized to influence AMP. As suggested by this research, the FTX tokenized equities may not have been won, won backed, and synthetics may have been utilized to manipulate genuine stock values. Now, I believe the most crucial aspect of this manipulation is whether or not these tokenized stocks are backed one to one, or in this case, are not backed one to one. When a tokenized security is backed one to one with real shares, other hedge funds and market makers can use these tokenized securities as locates. Clearly, because the FTX tokenized stocks were not genuinely backed one to one, they were not actual shares, and these locates used by hedge funds and market makers were fake. These market makers were permitting other hedge funds to short sell AMC shares on the premise that they were using tokenized securities issued by the FTC for their locates. But because FTX never truly owned genuine stock, these market makers provided bogus locations that enabled and supported the formation of synthetic shares, enabling hedge funds to illegally short sell hundreds of millions, if not billions, of AMC shares because they were synthetic. Due to the fact that these market makers supplied locations for these additional fresh short sells, were not actual locations of actual shares. As the tokens were not backed one-to-one, -one, they were in actuality fictitious locations of synthetic shares. Now, it was revealed that FTX did not actually own any AMC shares or at least did not hold an equal number of AMC shares. As it turned out, their partnership with CMX Equity 8G had ended the previous year, and FTX did not have any AMC shares. But I believe it is extremely crucial to note that if a tokenized stock does not at least claim to be backed one-to-one, -one, regardless of whether it is supported or not, a market maker cannot utilize it for a genuine or a false locate. If they do not at least claim backing, the security is not tokenized at all. It is merely a cryptographic token. Consequently, I wish to debunk some FUD today, AMP tokenized securities, and a few of the latest connections that have been formed in the past few days first. I'll correct the spelling of the eight quadrillion AMC tokenized securities. Because they are not tokenized securities, they are simply AMC tokens wrapped in a wrapper. Now the contrast, the distinction between an AMC tokenized security and AMTS or an AMC SDO is that it is back one-to-one -one with genuine shares, whereas these wrapped AMC tokens do not indicate that they are backed by real shares. In truth, these tokens are not backed by real shares in any way, and hence cannot be used on this market as bogus locates or even true locates, because these wrapped AMC tokens are not backed by a single AMC share. These market makers were not permitted to utilize AMC tokens as their real or fictitious locations due to the lack of underlying shares. Also demonstrated by Uniswap, they have already delisted any tokens backed by tokenized securities because they lack the necessary resources. The regulatory approval to market tokenized stocks. It states that Uniswap bans counterfeit stock tokens as regulatory scrutiny increases. Uniswap lacked regulatory approval to list tokenized assets. They delisted all tokenized securities that were supported by genuine shares. Consequently, everything left on. Therefore, the platform is not supported by a single real share. These cannot be utilized by market makers as bogus locations. I also discovered evidence to support this assertion, as I, myself, and even you may create an AMC token on Uniswap that is not backed by genuine shares. In under 10 minutes, this is a tutorial on how to create your owner 20 token on Uniswap. Feel free to call it whatever you wish. Amp Entertainment Token Create a MetaMask account, get a blockchain node, acquire some tokens, and set up your speedy in less than 10 minutes. Node, please add some pragmatic lines and some intriguing code that I am unfamiliar with. Additionally, generate your own AMC token. However, the most crucial aspect is that these tokens are not backed one-to-one -one and do not even appear to be backed one-to-one. -one. These market makers are unable to utilize them as fake locations. Consequently, while there were 400 million AMC tokenized securities on FTX 
and 600 million tokenized securities on Bittrex that were backed one to one and I claim were backed one to two. There were 600 million AMC tokenized securities on Bittrex. One there were not one quadrillion AMC tokenized stocks since they were unbacked AMC tokens. By any genuine shares, guys, if you didn't already know, we do not engage in any payment fraud. It is also incredibly simple to use. It's highly customizable, and they provide a plethora of technical indicators and relevant charts. Sign up for Moomoo through the link in the description below to receive up to 23 stocks. Each of these stocks is worth up to $2,000 during the holiday season. Currently, they are having a $60,000 giveaway contest. Now, I believe that linking directors of the AMC board to CEO is a risky move. Does not even imply that they created these AMC tokens. As I demonstrated, you may generate your own Uniswap coin on the open source platform Uniswap. Under 10 minutes, Mary, the CEO of Uniswap, did nothing to create these AMC tokens, which are not backed by real shares because Uniswap is an open source platform. When everyone, including you and I, can create anything they choose. While we are unable to build tokenized FTX on an open source platform, you and I can manufacture worthless AMC tokens with no backing at all. However, it is evident that there are two severe disparities between a purported one-to-one -one security and its counterpart. For AMC shareholders to also generate him the maximum potential revenue, he stated, I serve AMC best interest. Shareholders, as I'm one, and a substantial one. In conclusion, he stated, I've been CEO of AMC for seven years. According to him, around two-thirds of his entire compensation is in the form of stock rather than cash. And this is well publicized in advance. I have only sold shares once in the past seven years, spanning 65 days between November 2021 and January 2022. He stated, my stock sales ceased an entire year ago. Since then, I have not sold any shares. We will not sell any additional shares in the near future. I ride along with you. I believe this demonstrates that Adam Aaron is on our side and that he will continue to retain his shares and not sell them until the AMC crunch occurs. Adam Aaron presently owns more than 700,000 shares and will shortly acquire an additional 3 million AMC and 3 million AAP. This definitely puts his total number of shares to somewhere near 7 million. Therefore, he has a substantial incentive to increase the share price of AMC. These shares are also subject to the agreement governing the reverse split, meaning that after the reverse split, Adam Aaron will only have 600,000 shares vesting not $6 million in total. Obviously, 6 million shares will reverse split into 600,000 shares, but he still has an enormous motive to increase the share price of AMC and attempt to induce the AMC squeeze. However, please indicate your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, gentlemen, be remembered to ring the notification bell so that you are alerted when a new movie is uploaded.